there. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression and then a review at the end after I've worn it for a few days of the Ordinary Brands a Serum Found Deliation. I've tried their coverage Found Deliation and I was not impressed. I did not like it one bit. I just found that it didn't last well on my oily skin. It got incredibly oily on my oily skin and it was a fecking mess. I mean, there's not much more I can say about it. It's such a disappointment. And for a found deliation that calls itself the coverage found deliation, well, it doesn't. It calls itself the coverage foundation, but let's just pretend. It was just not impressive. It would be like a guy calling himself 10 inch ding dong ding and then he has like a tiny one do you know what i mean that's kind of the disappointment i faced i mean really but anyway so i bought this found deliation from cult beauty and it was five pounds seventy so super super affordable even more affordable than drugstore brands which by the way they need to stop with the price increases it's just getting ridiculous now l'oreal revlon I'm looking at you guys I mean really so I have oily skin I've got lots that I need to cover loads of stuff just going on having a party on my face that I was not invited to uh, so yes yeah, so I have a lot to cover also I have more mature skin so I'm just always looking for a found deliation that will cover my imperfections but not emphasize fine lines and just not look cakey and heavy on my skin. I have this in shade 1.1N which is fair neutral which is exactly the same shade that I had the coverage foundation in and it seemed to work fine for me. Uh, this is the little bottle that it comes in. It's super cute, super unique. It looks super professional as well. Like it looks like it means business. Like, you know, it's got all of the answers and it will make you look fabulous but I mean, that's what the coverage found deliation looked like as well. And the actual product was a bag of balls. Just before I apply this, I will read you out the description. It just says, a serum textured natural coverage foundation that softens undesirable hues. I have lots of undesirable hues, although I've never called them that before. I just call them like redness. Sorry, I've got black under my eyes. Well, if you notice like any strange like patches of like random colours up on my face. Andreas loose on my Halloween makeup earlier and it was a little bit of a disaster, I mean really. But yeah, it just says it visibly reduces imperfections. Well, I mean, yes to that, please. Fragrance free and it says it's tested on humans, which is fabulous, I mean really, as opposed to animals, I love it. Okay, so I mean, yeah, it just says as well, it's a lightweight serum formula. So I'm going to give it a good shake. And can you hear that? Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? Like, I mean, what's that? What, what, what is that? What's going on? But it's very liquidy indeed. Usually I would apply one side with a brush, one side with a beauty sponge. But today, given the fact that this is such a liquidy kind of uh, formula, I'm just going to go with the beauty sponge because I don't think the brush is going to have much success and I really want to try and, you know, give this the best chance of working. Plop a little bit there. Oh, nothing's plopping out. I mean, really? Okay, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, so there it is. Will it drip down my face? Okay, so it's actually not as liquidy, liquidy, what's that? I mean, I sound like I was trying to speak after five Chardonnays. Okay, so I'm just going to start to bounce this onto my face. It does appear to be very um, kind of light, like very yellow toned. I wouldn't really call this neutral. It does seem to have quite a bit of like yellow undertone to it, but I'm actually really liking the look of it. It's actually giving me a lot more coverage than I expected from the fact hello, that it's... Me. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh, I put the taps on for you. Did you just drop, Dre? No. Did you? No, it wasn't me, Dre. Well, you put the taps on for me. Yeah. Why? Okay, could you switch your taps off just for now, bud? Because mommy just 
applying a little bit of foam deviation and then come up again in a few minutes okay make sure you switch the taps off though are they off do you know what i'm actually really liking this so far it does feel quite oily okay so i've got a little assistant here today because he wanted to come and help didn't you jay can you just see him down there there he is so i have done this side of my face and i'm actually really surprised with the amount of uh, coverage for a product that states that it's a light coverage it's actually not bad at all so this is the difference between this it's very far can everybody see my bat top oh yeah andreas has got a new bat top haven't you gorgeous so this is the side of my face, obviously, with the foundation. Yeah, I think smart. it looks pretty smooth and uh, pretty good. And then this is the non-foundation travesty side. I mean, really. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish off applying this. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with this foundation so far because it definitely seems to have... A I'd say a medium coverage, like I wouldn't call this a light coverage. It does feel a little bit oily, similar to like a beauty serum or um, like a beauty oil. But I'm really liking it. I really am loving this. It's going on super easily. Do you know what? This has a really good coverage for a foundation that says it, it's light coverage. I mean, why are they... Why are they underplaying themselves? The product is very liquidy, so it does kind of sink into the sponge a bit. The sponge is kind of eating it up, saying, oh, yes, I was hey, a little bit hungry geez. today. And, Jace, yes. what do you think of this found deviation? Yeah. Do you like it on Mama's face? Lunch. What does it look like? Lunch. Lunch? So I'm really happily so surprised. And, Jace, you can't copy what I'm saying, but when I'm doing a video. I'm saying what I'm saying. This is his thing recently, copying what I'm saying. Copying what I'm saying. Mummy is the best. She's Mommy wonderful. Mummy is the best. She's very beautiful. Oh, thank you, oh, Jay. Thank Jay. You, Jay. I love you, my little superstar. I love you, my little superstar. So, I'm so, ex... So, I'm instead. Andrea's wanted a, his ear pierced. <laughs> so obviously I wasn't going to do that. So instead I just drew on a little faux piercing thing type of thing. We drew it on. He was quite happy with that solution. But anyway, so... <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Oh, someone's on the phone, Ray. Who is it? I don't know. It's Father Christmas. He said, run downstairs right now and there might be a present for you. Go on, run down, run down, run down. Quick, quick, quick. Run like the wind. Run like the wind, Ray. A bit mean, I know, but I've got to just tell you about this. I mean, I do have a present for him. It's a bath bomb, but he'll see that when he comes up. I mean, really. So, yeah, I'm super impressed with this foundation. It's such an early stage, I know, but it's provided, like, I'd say a medium coverage. It does look pretty natural on my skin. The only thing is, like, I've noticed, like, it, it is slightly emphasising my pores, and it does look a little bit dry in certain areas, particularly, like, just here, under my eyes, it just looks a little bit... I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but... I don't know, it just looks kind of textured, if that makes sense. Up on closer inspection, it does look a little bit kind of heavy as well. It just kind of around my mouth and on my chin. I feel like it's kind of emphasising uh, texture. So, I mean, I'm not wildly excited, actually. I went from being very excited to not wildly excited i'm going to be giving this a good shot of working because it's super affordable it's from the ordinary brand who are you know very highly regarded for using really good ingredients so i'm kind of rooting for this to work as much as i didn't like the coverage foundation i would really like to like this foundation if that makes sense and i do feel as well that this foundation is more geared towards drier skin types because it is a serum so it is going to be slightly more kind of emollient but you know what we're just going to see I mean time will tell all so I've been wearing the serum foundation by ordinary brand for the past three days and I do not like it I fecking do not like it I didn't like the coverage foundation by the ordinary brand and I do not like the serum one. I actually find that they're very similar. 
in terms of the reasons why I don't like either of them. I feel like both of them would probably be much better suited to people with dry skin because I have oily skin and I've, and I, oh, I couldn't speak for a second there. And I feel like they both just sit extremely heavy upon my skin. They feel oily on my skin. They don't feel like they ever really set. Even though I put way too much Laura Mercier translucent setting powder on, it just never seems to set. I also feel like uh, this founded liation accentuates my fine lines, my pores. I feel like it ages my skin. What surprised me though about this was the coverage because it does actually uh, specify, not on the bottle, but on the uh, box that it came in, it said that it was a light coverage foundation. But I find that it's actually a medium, so I think they're kind of underplaying the coverage of it. But, right, okay, so this is the main reason why I don't like this foundation, is that I'm pretty much convinced that... <clears throat> sorry, I keep not being able to speak. Like, literally, my voice, I go, ah, and nothing comes out. I mean, really? But, uh, there we go again. I mean, what's going on with me right now? I mean, really, I'm just falling apart at the seams. But... I'm certain that this is breaking me out. Like, if you've watched my channel for a while, you will know that I am struggling quite a bit with hormonal spots and I tend to get maybe a couple at, at a time on my chin, on my jaw. But since I've been wearing this, my skin has never been quite so much of a party place for spots. I've got like one here, I've got one here. Like I never really get spots on my cheeks. I tend to just have them quite focused around my chin and jawline, but I've been getting spots here, here, here. My skin just seems to be terribly problematic at the moment, and and I'm always very wary to kind of blame that on a foundation. When people say, oh my gosh, this broke me out, I always kind of think, but like, how do you know? Like, how can you prove it? And I, and I think it's quite a big, like, slanderous claim to make that a foundation broke you out, because really it could be multiple different things and I'm not saying this definitely broke me out but the change like the, the drastic change in my skin since I've been using it is very out of the norm for me it's normal for me to get a couple of spots on my chin but what isn't normal for me to like really be breaking out all over my cheeks and just everywhere um, and I feel like maybe that is somewhat down to the fact that this feels very oily on the skin and I just feel, you know, sometimes like if you've got oily skin or if you've like not got oily skin but you've been sweating and your skin is kind of moist and you can kind of feel it not doing good things to your skin, that's just the feeling I get from this as soon as I put it on. And, it, and it's exactly the same with the coverage one. This one just felt very heavy and oily on my skin. So unfortunately for me, this was a huge fail. As I said, maybe if you've got dry skin, it could actually be really comforting, you know, to have that more of like a hydrating, oily feeling up on your face. But for me, uh, 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 not today, sir, not today. So yeah, I think that the price point of the Ordinary Foundations is really, really good. Um, considering that drugstore foundations are now going up to like £10 and above. But unfortunately, they just don't seem to work on my particular skin type. Uh, and with that, I would probably be reluctant to kind of recommend them. Although saying that, they are super affordable. So, you know, foundations are subjective. They work very differently on different people's skin. So you may love them. And if you did decide to take the gamble, you know, you're not kind of wasting too much money if it didn't work out well for you. But just in my opinion, these do not work for a more oily skin type and they didn't work for me. Uh -uh. Just to give you a little close up, I've had the founded liation on for probably about six and a half hours at this point and I don't like it. Like I literally didn't want to put it on today. I was like, Mm, I don't want to even wear it because I've just I'm very suspicious that it's breaking me out but then I thought well I want you to be able to see it and I wanted to just give it another day just to prove itself it was just a whole other day of failure so you can you see as well around my pores it really seems to like accentuate my pores fine lines uh, texture on my chin is very accentuated can you see what I mean about the spots like one there one there I've got one there I've got one there 
uh, one there, one there, like one there. See what I mean? They're just, they're popping up. I mean, I'm sure like one there wasn't there this morning. So I'm pretty convinced. But what I will do is I'll do a little update at the bottom to let you know, like in a week, if my skin has majestically like cleared up and then we can kind of at least maybe try and pinpoint whether it's the found ideation or not. As I said, I don't really like blaming found ideations for breaking people out because whenever someone says that in a video, for me then the foundation is blacklisted because I'm just like, oh my gosh, I do not need anything else breaking my skin out. I mean, really. So anyway, that brings me to the end of this uh, review. I hope that you found it somewhat useful. If you were considering buying the foundation, uh, for me, fail. And it's such a shame because I love um, the Ordinary Brands skincare line. I just do not like these fecking foundations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more. Bye.